Hey there, viewers. Do you know about blood oxygen levels? It's very important. Just a slight drop in your blood oxygen can have some severe effects on your health. In really extreme cases, it could be a matter between life and death. But can you increase your blood oxygen levels naturally? Let's find out. In today's video, we'll be discussing ways to increase your blood oxygen levels naturally. Can sitting up or standing up straight help? What impact does coughing have on your oxygen levels? Is hydrating helpful? We'll be talking about all of these and more. The first piece of advice comes from conventional wisdom. You may have heard some people recommending sitting or standing up straight. Is it really helpful? Turns out yes. One of the ways you can boost your oxygen levels is by sitting up straight. When you hunch down while sitting, it puts pressure on your lungs. This in turn makes it difficult for you to breathe. The same is the case with standing up straight. Keeping your back straight will make sure your blood oxygen levels are at their best level. This is better than lying down, which also puts pressure on the lungs. If sitting or standing up straight helps your lungs breathe better, can coughing also help? It does seem strange, but coughing can also help increase your blood oxygen levels. This, of course, doesn't mean going around coughing. It can only be helpful when you're suffering from cold or flu. When you have any of these conditions, it can become difficult to breathe. As such, the oxygen levels in your blood can go down significantly. But when you cough in these situations, you'll be able to clear your airways. Clearer airways will always help you breathe easier. Also, coughing loosens your secretions, which also lends to this. Being able to breathe freely leads to your blood oxygen levels getting a much needed boost. So, coughing and standing up straight helped you breathe better. What if you stepped out to get some fresh air? Will that spike your blood oxygen levels? Experts say yes. One of the most common suggestions given to people who don't feel well is to step out for some fresh air. It's certainly helpful to your overall health and also helps clear up your mind and boost your mood. Additionally, taking a stroll outdoors can also help your blood oxygen levels. When you step outside, you'll be able to breathe fresh air into your lungs. Compared to the recycled air indoors, fresh air usually has a lot more oxygen. Of course, you should only do this if you're living in an area where pollution levels are reasonably low. Otherwise, it may do more harm than good. Also, if the temperature outside is too cold or even too hot, it may affect your breathing. However, if the temperature is pleasant and the air is low in pollution, make it a point to step outside once a day. It may sound weird to you, but drinking water really, like really, helps your blood oxygen levels. One of the most important parts of being in good health is making sure you remain hydrated at all times. If you don't drink enough water every day, you're bound to face a lot of health issues. Those health issues can include a decrease in blood oxygen. When your lungs are properly hydrated, they're able to move oxygen through your bloodstream in a much more efficient manner compared to when you don't drink water often. So drink water regularly if you want to make sure your blood oxygen levels are healthy. Drinking water? Check. Stepping outdoors? Check. Standing or sitting up straight? Check. What about deep breaths? Sounds legit, right? You draw lots of air into your lungs. Logically, deep breaths should help spike your blood oxygen. Well, good news, they do. Sometimes the pace we move each day can affect us as well. There's always something to do, and you may not be taking a moment to catch your breath. That could be a problem when it comes to your blood oxygen. Because you're always in a rush, you tend to breathe a lot faster, but only draw in very small breaths. Instead, you need to take deep breaths and take them slowly. This will increase the amount of air that gets into your lungs. As a result, you will need to take a few moments out of your busy schedule every now and then to take short, deep breaths to increase the flow of oxygen in your blood. If deep breathing helps, so should breathing exercises. Nearly every aspect of your health can be improved by doing various exercises. If you want to target something specific, there are specific workouts that can help you achieve your goals. Boosting your blood oxygen levels naturally is no different. Breathing exercises can help build up the capacity of your lungs. By doing so, you'll be able to get more oxygen in your bloodstream and increase blood oxygen levels. You will, of course, need to do the exercises on a regular basis if you want to see a big difference. You should make it a part of your morning and evening routines so you don't forget. Do you sit in one place for a while? Well, it isn't doing your blood oxygen levels any good. Many of us have an eight-hour job that requires us to sit in one place. It's no wonder that most people remain inactive for a major chunk of the day. Combine that with eight hours sleeping and you have a 16-hour period where you don't move all that much. That's not good for your blood oxygen levels. The body takes it as a sign that you don't need much oxygen. So you should do some form of physical activity every now and then that forces your breathing to accelerate. 
Also, when you accelerate your breathing, you're able to take in a lot more oxygen. More importantly, physical activity keeps your lungs in peak condition. You should make sure you don't remain in one sitting position for too long. You probably already know how dangerous smoking is for your health. Turns out it's even harmful to your blood oxygen levels. You have to quit smoking if you want your blood oxygen levels to stay healthy for the long run. One of the worst things you can do to your blood oxygen levels is smoke tobacco. You're probably already aware of all the other health issues cigarette smoke is responsible for. When you quit smoking, it doesn't take a long time for you to see the changes in your lung capacity. You will see that your lungs are a lot healthier. As a result, you'll breathe in a lot more oxygen and boost your blood oxygen levels. Can step outdoors in the fresh air? Why not bring the outdoor fresh air into your home? We all know that plants and trees are our greatest source of oxygen. They take the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and convert it into oxygen for us to breathe. It's only natural to assume that house plants can help your blood oxygen levels. When you get indoor plants and place them around the house, they help purify the air inside. This way, the air won't remain stale and you can still breathe while indoors. It won't be the same as going outside, but it will be a healthy alternative. So far, we've talked about several things you can do to help elevate your blood oxygen levels. But are there any foods you can eat to feel better? The answer is yes. You can eat foods rich in iron to elevate your blood oxygen. One of the most important things red blood cells need in order to function is iron. As such, it's necessary for you to include iron-rich foods in your regular diet. When they get enough iron, your red blood cells will function at the optimal level. With your red blood cells functioning properly, they will be able to distribute more oxygen throughout the bloodstream. This way you can boost your blood oxygen levels. There are many foods that are rich in iron that you can add to your diet. Spinach and legumes are one of the best sources. Red meat is also quite high in iron. If you like seafood, you should have shellfish regularly to improve your levels. Your body works to keep you alive in a variety of ways. There are so many things you can do to improve your health and stay alive longer. Did we spark your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Watch 19 foods that improve unhealthy lungs and help you breathe easy. You can also check out our video on 10 ways to reverse lung damage. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about your lungs and their health. Do you check your blood oxygen levels regularly? Let us know in the comments below.